chance was if I let it, if I fought him on the ground. You know, I didn't feel like I couldn't fight. I, like I don't feel like I don't. I'm, I'm clueless on the ground, but why, why risk it? You know, so I just felt like I was a superior striker. So why not keep him on the feet, frustrate him, and not let him get his game plan going? From the sound of the uh, quotes that the UFC sent us after the uh, fight, you sounded a little bit disappointed in your performance. Is that correct or? Um, not. I wouldn't say that. You know, I'm, I'm happy with with the fact that I was able to do what I planned to do. Um, the, the, I might have come off like that because you know I'm not, I've, I've got a reputation for putting on exciting fights and it's something I take a lot of pride in. So I, I kind of felt like maybe I played it a little safer than, than I had in the past, but um, you know I had to weigh out my, my risk, the risks and rewards um, in terms of going out and letting it all hang out. And I just felt like I need the win more than I need the fight of the night bonus. So um, you know I didn't want to risk getting my neck caught. I didn't want to. You know, I didn't want to make a stupid mistake and end up losing, especially two fights in a row, especially two fights in a row by guillotine. You talk about guillotines, you actually framed a choke up on him, uh, worked it a little bit. Uh, was there anything there? You know, I uh, during this training camp, I really broke down how he gets that, his the McKenzatine. And, uh, you know, I watched how he shoots his arm through almost like a Darce and then switches his grip. And, I, I you know, so... I, I figured it was a good idea to practice it and do it to other people and see how they defend and see how he makes it work and try and figure it out myself. So it just kind of came naturally. He, you know, his head, I had his head in there, decided to try and shoot the arm through. I thought it would have been a good way to finish uh, him with his own move. You landed a lot of body shots. Were you trying to finish him with the body shots? Yeah, definitely. You know, I, I watched all the tape on him, did a ton of homework on him, and, you know, it was really most evident in that fight against Chad Mendez. You know, he... he uh, through that straight cross to the body, and what that did was it, it takes away his ability to change levels and shoot for that low single that he likes, and he obviously doesn't like to get hit in the body. It, it, it uh, you know, it hurt him. Chad stopped him with it, so uh, it's kind of killing two birds with one stone. It takes a shot away, and it wears him out and, and hurts him. So yeah, so it was definitely my intention to throw that body, that body, those body punches throughout the whole fight. Were you at all worried in the first round when he got you to the ground right away that maybe he was setting up that guillotine? Um, I well, I, of course, yeah. I knew I knew he was setting up the guillotine. It's you know, it's his bread and butter. That's what he goes for. So I wouldn't say I was worried. Like you know, I was I was worried, but within reason. I didn't. I wasn't panicking. And I knew, you know, we worked on strategies to get back up. I knew there was a very good chance he was going to drag me to the mat at some point in that fight. So I was prepared for it. And, uh, you know, but I was definitely worried about the guillotine. He had the price tag on his shorts when you were in the octagon? You know, Cody is uh, he's a, a rare character. You know, he had the, the, shorts, the, the tag on his shorts. And thank God I had a, a veteran referee in Herb Dean. He didn't even stop the action, just yanked the tags off. I, I thought it was cool. Did you catch the uh, retailer that he purchased it from? No, I didn't see that. <laughs> what, was, what did it say? I don't know. It was one of no, I don't know. Said. I don't know. I don't know. I, di I didn't see it. He was trying to punch me in the face and choke me, so I, d I wasn't reading his shorts. Ooh, like fight next? Um, not even thinking about it at this, at this point. I, you know, I'm the type of guy who likes to take things one fight at a time. You know, I beat Cody McKenzie. I'm going to go uh, enjoy the holidays, relax, and then uh, get back to the drawing board uh, early in the new year. You've had a long run in mixed martial arts. I mean, you're, you're a veteran at this point, a yeah. long-time veteran. Um, you know, what's your motivation like in mixed martial arts? I mean, do you, do you still feel like you can be a champion here in the UFC? Um, you know, I'd love that. Um, I, I'm still learning. I'm still getting – I'm still – growing as a fighter i'm still figuring out ways to make my camps go better i'm still figuring out ways to cut weight better i'm still figuring out ways to uh to strike better to wrestle better there's, there's you can never stop learning in the sport and i think um the second you stop you stop learning and trying to get better that's when you lose your motivation so i just try and keep that in mind is there a specific goal you might have in 2014 is it to get co-main event status to be considered you know event? i'd like to start working my way back up the cards and, and not be the third fight of the night and start to get onto the main cards again and and you know take it one step at a time and just keep climbing up those uh rankings and climbing up my climbing myself up on the cards thank you sam